Hello, welcome back to Evil Monk Studios. Uh, today we're going to be working on some shoulders for the uh, Robin suit. Patterns, cut them out, tape them, whatnot, tape, tape them together. I'll be changing the design a little bit uh, halfway through. Um, it was had a change of heart on some designs so get your headliner foam out and start tracing the base of the pattern or the base of the shoulder pattern on onto it uh, mark the center is later on you'll be cutting down there Uh, marking the um, little key marks where we're gonna be finding your center. The line those up with the, the bottom of the, of the shoulder. I'm just marking uh, one, two, and three, four, and just match up the left and right shoulders. It uh, doesn't matter which way, which both are, are the same. And uh, just cut them out. Cut the foam up. I'm going to get the left and right. Then you get your uh, 77 spray and you spray the back of them. I want you to spray them. You get your fabric. I'm using uh, a black duck cloth for the bottom part. The top part, we use a uh, green duck cloth. You can use any kind of fabric you want. I just like using duck, duck cloth since uh, it's a little, bit, a little bit thicker and uh, looks kind of uh, not really high tech, but tactical looking. Uh, what it looked like together sort of and now I'm just lining up the corners make sure I got the, the center part I'm going to line them up make sure I'm a little darker so I can see them I'm using the clips to clip them together and sew them on the sewing machine um, kind of spacing this part around Half inch, maybe a little bit less. Now it's peeling back the foam, and leaving the top layer of the green alone. You want to cut the foam off so you get most of the bulk out when you fold it over to sew the top stitch. Kind of do on one side, so uh, like left and right, I do kind of opposite of each other. Kind of like when you sew them together, you kind of want to pull them kind of tight, but not too tight. So it's stitching. Uh, it's gonna stitch about like me eighth inch away from the center. Now I'm just sewing the top to the bottom, doing the same method as the, the top of the shoulder. I'm doing one side. I'm gonna get to that center point where that dot is.
and then fold it back over try and line up the other side of the shoulder and stitch from the dot to the outer part of the shoulder Same thing, when want to split the, the fabric from the foam, leave the fabric, cut the foam away from one side. And then fold it back over. Same thing as the top part of the shoulder, stitching like an eighth of an inch away in the center. And there we go. Now onto the detail part. I mean, you skip this, you go straight to the edging, but you want to add a little more to it. That's the time to do it. So on a simple design, I kind of put some uh, painter's tape over it, drew my design I want, then put on a piece of paper, then I cut it out. And I spray the back of it with 77 spray glue. trim it off and then fold it over and spray some more glue on it. Fold over on the back. center there's an even get the right spacing try match the other side and you're gonna pin it So about like a quarter inch away from the edge. I'm using uh, using vinyl, some fake leather on top of that. So you want your stitch to kind of far apart. 
you don't want to, you don't want to close stitching. Basically, you use a close stitch and you just kind of saw on the vinyl. Now I'm putting the edging on it. Song. You want to kind of, this is going to wrap around your arm. It's on the skin, extra material. I sewed it and I cut the extra off and I'm going to turn it inside out. And after this, I'm going to cut that in half. And I'm going to sew the two straps on the end of the shoulder. So you wrap around your arms. And, um, I'm going to use uh, Velcro to keep them together. I'm going to do a little stitching around. Let's figure out how, how I'm going to attach it. I've got that other one to kind of match it. I did this on the outside of it, so it's right inside. So. Clip it, sew it, and pull it over. Okay, got that done. Sewing it. I'm adding Velcro. Is up. Done. So now we're gonna work on the collar part where it kind of helps hold your shoulders in place. I did this in one piece. You, could, you don't have to do it in one piece. You could do it in two pieces and sew them together. surgery and it's, it's so the edges and you do whatever you want need to do for the edging so you want to fray uh, this part is like this has to be perfect it's gonna be underneath the vest anyways so I'm adding a, um, a strap to close the, the collar so I'm doing the velcro strap Took some extra fabric and just made a little um, flap.
some Velcro. It's all done there. Now I have to do some strapping. So this way I put I had, uh, buckles. Uh, this low kind of do a little X cross on the back uh, after you pin it and sew it. And now we're on to attaching the shoulders to it. There's a couple ways you can do this. Um, I did on this one here. I did. Um, I used one strap in the middle for the center of the shoulder. I used to do two, one to, in the front, one in the back, kind of keep it um, easier or more adjustable. Um, I kind of got lazy with the one. I think it will still work, but it might move if you try to do poses with it. But the two strap, one in the front, one in the back, might be better. But that's what it looks like. When it's all together. Well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, like and subscribe. See you next time.